Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's come back around already. Daily knockout tournament time. And what do we get if we win it? A team of the tournament player. And do you know who was in the lineup? Record breaker Ronaldo, but do you think we're going to really pack him as they've specifically said it's only a team of the tournament? But then he was in the team of the tournament, so I I'm not so sure. We could get ourselves a Ronaldo, maybe, potentially. Leave a like, guys, 2000 would be amazing. If you need in game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com, use that code Fuji for cash back. And let's go. So this time around, there weren't any requirements, no restrictions to hold you back. You could go and take your weekly side and play the daily knockout tournament. And I'd recommend it. Do it. Four games in a row. Can you win that? I believe in you. If you can and you get lucky in your pack, you could make 50 to 100,000 coins literally by playing four games. Go and do it. With the team, I basically took the weekend league side and brought in a couple of players that I wanted to give a go. And I didn't want to make a completely new team because then it allows me to know if they're playing well or if it's the team. So myself, I know that I can rely on Ronaldo, Bess, Hullet, all of the usuals. So when I drop in a few cards, if my team, like the dynamic of the side has changed, then I know, oh, that's Aspas. That's a Suarez's fault. You get what I mean. So I brought in Aspas, Suarez, Chabi Alonso, and Godin. And I want to go through the stats of those players. So 155,000 coins. I'm going to keep him at the club to give him some more game time as I've only played the four games because I won it in the first go. Uh, six for one, medium to high work rate. And I do like the look of him. I will explain what he's good at when we go into the clips. Uh, Suarez, I brought back uh, Chavi Alonso. I've been really enjoying this guy. His shot power is marvelous. Six games, one goal, two assists. And then Aspas, did I show you him? We got him from the monthly rewards and his card looks pretty good. Pace, dribbling, shooting, passing. His physical isn't great. I wouldn't recommend playing him as a striker. I played him as the left attacking mid and he has that left foot. So when he overlaps, I can just pop those back across. Yeah, four games, three goals, one assist. So the team, how it's set out, I have changed up my tactics, by the way, and it actually worked, but I don't know whether or not it's going to be the case against very, very good players in the weekend league. So I will show you in a second. Uh, we brought back, um, I actually played it like that I'm pretty sure yeah I played it exactly like that and the custom tactics right you know I've been wanting to lower my pressure and up my aggression and then I go back to like high pressure high aggression because I can't do it well this time around it actually worked very well with the 45 uh, pressure and 70 aggression and I brought uh, down the crossing to 30 as well because I wanted to keep most people back I liked it it, it played well I, I go like from high pressure to low pressure my crossing I, I keep messing up with that and the speed I was playing 65 in the weekend league, now that's gone up to 70. I just like change. I like change, and I want to see if I can always improve. Right, are we ready to go and take a look at what we did in this tournament? We smashed it, and when I mean smashed it, Let's find out. So usually in the daily knockout tournament, if I go two to three goals up or they recognize my gamer tag, they're going to rage quit on me. And this time around, it was different. Every single opponent stayed in the game. So fair play, I, I really enjoyed it. And we managed to tally up, I think, just shy of 20 goals. I added it up when I was doing the clips. I think we actually scored 19 goals exactly in four games, which is pretty impressive. Yes, it is against the lower quality of opponents, but I've still got to create the chances. And I did like the team. So with that being said, it obviously is a good side going forward and Aspas that I brought in The only criticism that I have with the card is he's a little bit weak and he's lacking the skill moves As I was building up the play with Suarez and Ronaldo doing the one twos He would pop up into very good positions and on the ball you're going to be seeing uh, is the evidence there He's very good at changing direction his agility is brilliant and when I used his first uh, Info I think it was his second inform actually as a striker he wasn't good. He was too weak, he was getting pushed off the ball, and he was a little bit inconsistent in front of goal. This card is very, very good. Shooting back across is the recommended shot. He can pop one as with his right foot, but it's only a three star, and I wouldn't recommend that. But what he was doing on the ball, I would 100% recommend to him in a left attacking midfield position. I think that's perfect for him. As a cam, right in the middle, you're needing someone with a four star weak foot, especially if you're playing my style of them overlapping. But as a left attacking mid, I didn't feel that there was any issues at all with him. So I did like him. I'd recommend to go and purchase the card, but I don't know how much he's going for. Another player that I brought in, and it was Godin. And this is this is what I'm going to get out. A lot of people shy away from Godin because they automatically see the pace and all of the other options on the game. So instead of spending like 150 on Godin, you can go and purchase uh, Boateng for 50,000, let's just say. And he's got more pace. With this card, it's very similar to P. PK for me. 
PK was great. Solid challenges, took up good positions, and that is what Godin can do. Are you really going to spend 150 on him? I, I don't know. He's solid. Like, what you see is what you get. Do you expect him to have really good tackles? physical great in the air tick 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 he's got that is he a little bit on the slow side of course against players like Desai, he murders him for the pace against Chiellini team of the season so it all it all depends on how you want to play but for me how I changed up the tactics uh, I was talking about this in the Road to Glory episode I'm wanting really like Kante and Philip Lam just to stay in front of my two uh, center backs. So I've got support there. Instead of me pushing up my um, players I automatically with them um, with the high pressure because without me even positioning them, that's what they've got. That's their mindset to push on and add pressure. So with me doing the opposite, it helps um, it helps Godin because he's got support around him. So I really like that. I feel the, the SBC Suarez is better at finishing. Maybe just for me and the way I take my shots on and it suits my style. I don't know, but every single time I'm through on goal with the SPC card, it's going in. Like, he's got such a good finish on this game. And I was popping in long shots, uh, finesse shots, and with Ronaldo, what can you say? Team of the Ronaldo is an absolute god. But Xabi Alonso, it was great to be uh, bringing him back into the team. And I had some uh, nice fun with, um, with him playing as a CDM. So for me anyway, um, am I going to use these tactics in the weekend league? For sure. Yes, we were against like, the lower quality, but I am confident that they're going to work with the low pressure, the high aggression. That's how I've always wanted to play. But then because I've been in the weekend league and as soon as you take a loss, you're wanting to quickly redeem that and get yourself the, the wins and go on a streak again. So then I go back to something that I'm comfortable with. And that's just a habit of mine. And that's sometimes what I bring in like players like Hullet. Although this weekend it was for chemistry reasons, nothing else because Pogba was amazing. So uh, yeah, with the new team that we're going to be making on Friday, because I'm waiting for those end of an era cars, we will have to see what we do. But yeah, we smashed the tournaments. We scored, uh, sorry, tournament. We scored 19 goals and it was great. So drop a like on the video. Let's go and have a look what we're going to get from the pack. I'm hoping it's a walkout. Let's find out. Right, guys, here we go. What is this saying? Guarantees one gold team of the tournaments player from the group stage or knockout stage. Okay, I can't remember what player got it when. All that I know is Thiago, Abamyang, Ronaldo, record breaker. I doubt we're going to get him. So here we go. Let's open it in three, two, one. Walkout, maybe? No. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm probably going to get one of those center backs. Striker. Is that Aspas? No, it's not. Ooh, oh, Adoris. Uh, not bad, actually. No, I think he's got a better version on the game. Um, an orange man of the match. But Adoris, I'll take that. I've used him, though. And he's got a solid shot. Cracker of a long shot. But what is he going for? 31,000 coins. 23. With them doing this daily knockout tournament, I feel for the next SPC for end of the era, you're going to need one of these cards. So before you sell them, keep them at the club. You'll thank me later. Leave a like, guys, if you've enjoyed. Let me know if you've played the tournament and you've unlocked anyone. Drop their names in the comments, and I will see you on the next video. Team out. Peace.